certain glad I put a proper team together for all this. Oh wow, you talk back. How do you hit rank 120? I don't even think I'm half that. I haven't even checked my rank in a while. She is talking. I, I've, I've just been reading silently. I'm sorry.
That's enough, Babylon. It's pointless to continue. Let my friends go. <sighs> she threw herself on my sword. bed at my age really isn't the deal. It really isn't ideal. Hey, you over there. May I speak with you for a moment? So, you're awake? It would appear it would have been better if you kept on sleeping. No, I'm not resisting. Even if I tried, I don't think I could in my powerless state. <laughs> you're, um... Arc, right? Did you overhear my conversation with my family? Please call me when you wish. Arc, monster, whatever suits you. To you, I must look like someone cruel, a villain. I could do nothing about what you choose to call me. I know that what I'm doing is cruel. But you are much safer here. It would only be worse if you were out there. The bodies are just piling up. Granted, under the current circumstances, I can't lay anyone out of here regardless. Ah, so you're here to protect us. Or at least, that's what you say you've been doing. I would not make such an arrogant statement. We are doing these barbarous things of our own accord, and that's fine with me. But why do this to us? People you don't even know. Are you the one behind it all? <laughs> you have something... You all have something in common. You're all important to Brandon. What does that have to do with anything? Are you acquainted with Brandon? No. We've only spoken a few times. My mother won't let me see you. She talks a lot, sure, but she really is quite kind. She can't abandon those who have been cast aside. Mother would never hurt someone whose soul is burdened by the same wounds as mine. She certainly thinks a great deal of Brandon. Perhaps, but maybe it's the same for you too? Yes, that's right. Mother pities me as well. It's not just me, she pities Kirito too. All her children, in fact. We are all both pitied and loved by mother. <laughs> she sounds like a loving mother. Though I must say her methods are quite rough. <laughs> mother is certainly frightening. But she is kind too. She takes it upon herself to guide my cowardly self, after all. <laughs> you think yourself cowardly. Well, of course I am a coward. I know what I must do, yet I am always afraid to take the first step to do it. I am terrified of freedom. There are so many sad memories packed into this room, and yet I'm afraid to even leave. <sighs> hmm. Why am I sharing so much about myself with you? To a stranger. <laughs> That's because I'm a teacher. It's my job to listen to what students have to say. Because you're a teacher? As far as I'm concerned, you're not any more or less cowardly than anyone else. Freedom is a scary thing to everyone. Even in a place that is all you've known is particularly full of new changes. I don't skip text when I hit screenshot. Until now, you've had an ir you've had irreplicable you had 
it erupted. Ah! Um, it is five in the morning. Six in the morning. <laughs> Until now, you have irreplicably cherished this place and your family in it. It's also my job as teacher to encourage any young ones who fear the great wide world to go out and explore. <laughs> Wish I had a teacher like you. <laughs> The day will come when everyone must go out into the world to find their own path. I believe that you have the power to go out on your own. Or I want to believe it anyway. <laughs> Mr. Um... Mononobe, from Shinjuku Academy. Mr. Mononobe? There are all sorts of teachers in Tokyo, aren't there? For me, my teachers... What? That voice? <laughs> I see, I see, so that's how it is. <laughs> yes, that's what really happened. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you're taking it so well. <laughs> so you see, your role has just come to an end. It looks like you're being relieved of your duty. I'm jealous. I keep getting corralled into all the hard jobs. Oh, I know. How about you take a vacation? <laughs> shut up! Shut up! You think I could do something like that? You have any idea what it was like for us to run from the east? I could never, I could, I could never just leave him. Oh dear, I'm really just a messenger here. Liar! As if I believed the words of a spy! <laughs> Surely you can perceive even a little of what I've said is the only viable explanation for this situation. <sighs> you got information from that researcher at UNO Academy, didn't you? In that case, you should be able to see the full picture of the situation this time around. There are those who mean to put an end to the game by taking advantage of the experiments once performed in Otomachi. It would be bad for me if the game ended right now. Which is why I imposed upon you for a little assistance. I am appreciated the help, but leave the rest up to those other brats. We're moving on to the next act now, and your character doesn't make an appearance. You must realize that I had no obligation whatsoever to tell you any of this. I tell you out of the kindness of my heart, a parting gift as it were. My brother and I are a unit. We always helped each other out and... No! Do your best. Our boss expects nothing less. Unless this is resolved, you'll never be able to ask him about the only passion that remains. Not that anything you do will have any significant effect on the situation at this point. <sighs> it's so easy to predict the actions of someone who has been cornered. They get tunnel vision and feel like they have only one option. Looks like I didn't even need to use my sacred artifact for this job. One who ever looked at me as just another person. You saw me not as a woman or a mother or some pitiful creature, but as an equal. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? That loop in which we laughed and cried? It would have been so much easier if you had hated me. That's why I had to do this. <laughs> Stop! Ah! 
Nark! Right dead! Doing? Wait, no, it's not what it looks like. I I'm sorry, Ark, my child. Well, listen to me. Damn, I got no choice. Why do they always retreat? Doro. Yare, yare. Kuna. Tiyumiaku no chikara yo. Kono mi, sekai o horobosu doku shiri. Idoku seidoku. Idogaru zo aramu. That's what she was trying to go for in the, the entire time. And this can only end in one point. This can only end in one way. Now that we've reached this point.
No. I think those teachers who instructed us, as well as those who belong to the cult, depended on that story. I don't know why the teachers were so complicit in it all. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think the teachers just couldn't handle their own guilt. Maybe even the teachers didn't know the true nature of that place. So maybe they felt it was necessary to maintain a beautiful fiction, a collective illusion. Those of us who were born to never be attached to the future, and were excluded from the outside world, we were born for this particular purpose. It was just like a divine revelation. The teachers imbued us students with special powers, and so I entered the game together with my family. I mean, I know it's a girl voice, I just can't- I- I cannot do so many girl voices right now. I can't do them ever, really. It turned out to be full of real battles using such natural powers. We fought and fought and continued to fight if one's family is in harm's way, one will fight on angrily. We knew that our enemies were students housed at other facilities, and that was about it. We screamed into the facility's intercom to the teachers who refused to show themselves. Why? Why? We shouted on and on, but there was no response. Why did we notice? Or maybe we do. As it happened, we couldn't play the game through to its end. There was a catastrophe and the whole program was discontinued. I was the only one from my family who survived. The game killed them all. This game that never ended. I'm the only one left now. Stuck here, unable to graduate. Being punished for my sins. So they were nothing more than an example of those who were brainwashed to believe that their only worth was nothing more than lab rats. experiment that was carried out in Fujimi Academy's Otomachi branch was likely the prototype for the system behind the app. It's also obvious if you stop to think about it. It's not like such a system could appear so suddenly, already completed. These sorts of systems are typically released in specific areas as a test, then released to the public as after several repetitions. The prototype of the current app had a more primitive prover mechanism. Only one test subject was left alive. Well, a few more survived, but... It's safe to say that all the test subjects, but one were left in a state deemed unfit to continue testing. took all of this data, finished constructing the app, and brought us to where we are now. If only the Fujimi Academy experiment didn't fall apart part way through. still aren't finished? No, it's well, um, wait a second. What's with that pile of cigarette butts? 
What do you think you're doing? These are these reports are flammable. Are you crazy? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll clean it. I'll clean up later. What's up now? You keep making these weird noises. It's just, I mean, this is ridiculous. Suddenly so hauling in all this data? Then you tell me to cram it all into my head? I feel like my head's going to explode. I think I'm starting to go cross-eyed. Stop complaining and get back to work. That isn't even all of it. It's only half. I'm taking the other half. Now quit your complaining and keep it and keep at it, alright? Can we print it? Or make handwritten copies? No. Try and think for a moment about why we need to memorize it. You're supposed to be a genius who graduated early, right? Figuring out that much should be a piece of cake. Uh, fine, I'll just try to keep at it. Uh, it makes me nervous that I haven't heard anything from Alice. What if she's mad and waiting for me somewhere? Uh, I feel like I have Alice on one shoulder and leave on the other. That group, let's put it simply, it's just a means of progressing the game. I doubt they are developers of the doubt they are the developers of the app. At any rate, someone issuing their orders seems to believe that this is a sign of the game's progression. So they have deemed that isolated instances should not impact the continuation of the game. In other words, Shinjuka, Shibuya, Minato Lord, Bunkya, Chiyoda, and finally Taito were offered up as sacrifices. Too, then we need to put some we need to put in some effort too even if we don't get any credit for it we'll show them what we're made of we'll live on Q Sith Finrir you don't need to stand guard anymore get over here I have something to discuss. We need to talk about what will happen from here on out. What's up? You're kind of scaring me. You said you would like to speak of things to come. You mean to say that you have chosen a course of action at last? John Vavon, keep reading, but I want you to listen too. From now on, we at the Uenoville will begin independent operations. What do you mean by independent operations? We're not the mortar researchers here at Ueno Academy! Before we can do anything, we have to understand what the higher-ups want. John Bavon, even after taking all this in, can you still say can you still say that? Well. lies down this path, no matter what. Our top priority right now, even higher than the orders from away from Ueno Academy, is the survival of our guild and its members.
jump if I'm, I'm counting on you to act as a go-between. Huh? A go-between? What do you think I... Why do you think I've been letting you slip off to your mysterious part-time job all this time? What? I, I... Well, um, about that... First things first, you need to get ready to head west with your partner. Oh! What was that? Was that an earthquake? Huh? Is that a... This is wearing me out. I gotta settle this somehow. Damn it! Can't go, Toji. Even. What's going on? Is that Brandon? Is that Brandon? Everyone's here. It's just severed these chains connecting everyone. Roll of Wanderer! Roll, roll of the Wanderer! Roll of Red Day! Engrave my name on today! Come forth, Boundless Tail! There's no way! Wait! Wait, my friends! Ah! Are we safe? What in the... What the heck happened? You came to help, Brandon. I'm glad you're okay, Brandon. I'm glad you're okay, Brandon. Is everyone okay? You're not injured? Aside from the aches and pains of being tied up, I'm fine! What about the two of you, huh? No, nothing's wrong. Sorry. I'm... Uh, I'm fine. I am... also fine. You sure about that? Y'all were tied up longer than me. It's something... No, we're fine, really. They gave us proper meals and even snacks in between. So what do they want to do with us? Look up in the sky! The gate! It's not just one, it's four. Ah! What? What? That's... It's like what we saw in Rapongi, yet... Ah, ah. Hey! Wait a damn second! Are you saying there's four of those damn things this time? I see. So this was the genocider's true intention. Impressive. 
They intend to tame and use those inceptions, exceptions as their own. If so, then this plan must involve the Hongo Guildmaster, just like we conducted our own experiment. That's... What? Wait, what? N no way! How could they... Impossible! Exception, but this time, it's four of them! <laughs> Let me get a good look at you all! You shouldn't be moving your wounds! I'm sorry, Ark, my precious child. This must come as quite a surprise to you. <laughs> I am so very sorry. I did this to myself. I let myself be stabbed so that you would be motivated to fight. I did it so that your two sacred artifacts would cause these special exceptions. <laughs> I observed all the final experiment that tormented you all, you know. I broke out all the information I could from our remaining lab rats before putting them down, and I kept it all. This is one thing I learned. Exceptions can form a string, you see. So long as the proper requirements are met, of course. Finally, with this... <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. At long last, this game will, this game will not end. Will finally come to a close. If I had something to, if I had said something to someone as kind as you, you would have opposed me. Yes, so I remained silent. I knew I worked it out. You did. I heard from Kirito that you wanted to involve anyone and everyone in this mother. I guess I've always known it, even back then, on the day the game began. I knew it, but I didn't stop it. I bear the same burden of sin as you, mother. This whole game was born from the experiment they were involved in. No. But I made you take matters into your own hands, mother. I'm so sorry. I am a coward. Ark, no! That's not it! This is my revenge! No. This is my sin. I destroyed the world. I should have noticed before it came to this. I wish I could have died with my family back then. <laughs> Not 
No! This was all my doing! I am the one who destroyed the world! It was me! I could never forgive those angels, so I... <laughs> right. No wonder someone would want to kill you. What? Mother! First outcome possible happens. There are no winners. Did you say an exception? Typically a declaration of rank would set everything back to normal, however. The ant's battle zones is not functional. Will everything still reset? It's possible that. Hey, um, are those tremors getting stronger? This building's pretty shaky. It could collapse at any minute. That's bad. There's still plenty of folk trapped inside. We must deal with the exception as soon as possible. However, assuming things will not return to normal. You must save as many p as possible, prioritizing the evacuation of citizens. What do you think, Brandon? <sighs> we need to get everyone out of here. In that case, we must hurry! Quick, this way! <sighs> uh, 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 am I free? Oh, looks like we weren't the only ones let go. Somehow they're... All the, their chains all came loose, too. Alright, partner. I got things covered here. You get that side. <laughs> Brandon? Mr. Mononobe, you hurt? I'm okay. Thank you. That voice. Stay here. I have a bad feeling. Wait, you can't go alone. What? What happened to? All right. No wonder someone would want to kill you. <laughs> right. No wonder. So to mom and dad! Wait a minute. 
Ark's name sounds familiar. That can't be. She can't be who I think she is. Or they think they are. Uh, oh no. I did not even piece that one together. Joan de Arc. Joan of Arc. Everyone okay? <clears throat> we lost everything. There's nothing left. I see. You knew this would happen, didn't you, Lane? <laughs> you really saved our hides, Marchos. Yes. How can we repay you? <laughs> There's no need for thanks. This is a knight's duty. Hmm. <laughs> I Fenrir could tear th through chains as weak as those. I've seen someone with that sort of flame rule before, back in Gehenna, although their role was different. He used your life's sins as kindling to fuel his flame. He touched your body, the innards beneath his hand would burn. <laughs> Feel as though I would not get along well with that torturer. I must offer my thanks, Wolf Knight of Starvation. <laughs> I'm not exactly starving, but... Um, can I ask a question? What is a transient from Kabukicho doing in Ueno? I came by introduction of my guild, the Kabukicho Guild King and Knight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was my contact in the Kabukicho Guild. They cooperated to further the Ueno Guild's goals to further my research. Is that so? I had not been told as such. <laughs> I guess that's true. Beast Tamer's goal is... We wish to control the role and rule of... We truly hope to save humanity. I, I, I'm... <sighs> the whole blank thing is getting... <laughs> like, that's making me curious. So he, made, so he made a request of us. He was searching for someone who could decode Marchiosi. Marchiosi has a stash of research notes. He was supposed to come here, but things got out of hand. And he was, wasn't able to make it. He was our one gleam of hope in this whole mess. Now he had to abandon even the laboratory. No, I do believe that this must be fate of some sort as well. By the way... Could you please finish what you were saying earlier, Lave? The media console that my summoner left behind. You have analyzed the data on it, correct? 
Because what kind of information did, did it contain? The one you the one you entrust the one who entrusted you with that child? It appears that he was a researcher who escaped from Fujimi Academy. The data fills the holes in Ueno Academy's experiment reports. Originally, the goal of Fujimi Academy experiments was to observe immortality. They achieved immortality through a method known as memory inheritance. You transpose your memories onto another object, such as another body, for instance. For instance, it seems as they were considering transplanting a mind into a child, <clears throat> just like sacred artifacts. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> I do believe that Fujimi Academy's experiments were a prototype for the app. In other words, Leave, the children of Fujimi Academy are, yes, all their minds have been replaced, overwritten with the memories of dead from the other places. In Kabukicho, I saw several sacred artifact wielders who were native to this Tokyo. Their minds were in danger of becoming corrupted if their thought processes mixed with those from other worlds. It would be especially dangerous. With the app, at least you can stop part way. It all depends on one's role and rule, though. The test subjects at Fujimi Academy, they weren't allowed to stop the experiment. Even if they wanted to, the school was a battle zone forcing them to continue. Most of the test participants, well, you can guess what happened. What are you trying to say? Please, Ark, listen to, to my desires for just a moment. Shall we save this world? Child of humanity, or child of humanity, my child abuse spell. Ah! <laughs> You're kidding, right? Hey, Ark. You still have some lives left, right? <laughs> That's arcs. Play the game together. 
and then everyone dies. This is our future if the game continues. Whatever happens to this world is fine with me. I, I just wanted my children to live. That's all. That's all I wanted. Why? Why am I only realizing it now? I've always realized things when it's too late. I let my child die again. All for the demise of some trivial world. I killed Ark! Hey, you really gonna cry so much over some measly death? They got what they deserve, don't you agree, Brandon? Let me ask you something. That knife the girl was holding. Ah, right, right. I lent it to her. After that, all I did was tell her that Babylon and the others killed her mother. What goes around comes around, eh? Karma's a bitch, I guess. <laughs> but I don't want it to come to I don't want it to come to me too much. You Hey now! What's up what's up with you? I didn't mess up or anything. You should be praising what I did. They're the ones who made a mess of Tokyo, aren't they? You think you have the right to talk? Getting all emotional? Cut it out! A small fry like me isn't your enemy. You're not the only strong one, you know. All these players are super powerful. It's just my part to close the curtains. That's it. At best, the only thing my sacred artifact can do is allow me to run away from people so they can't grasp my true nature. Yeah, I can't win or anything like that. I know exactly what my place is in this game. Up until now, I was only harassing you lot because Babylon ordered me to. If anything, I'm the victim here, yeah? I was forced into inf infiltrating Ikubukuro and Rapongi. I was a great nuisance, eh? Aren't they your friends? Are you saying that if they're your family or friends that they can get away with whatever? If you do something wrong, shouldn't you expect some punishment? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Either way, if everyone's gonna go down with me, that's all well and good. Except for you. Anyway, you're gonna fall further than I ever will. I'm just looking forward to seeing that, is all. I'm stuck in this game, I can't win. So I gotta look forward to something. What are you on about? Hmm. Anyway, I'm expecting you to keep on keeping on, Brandon. Damn it! <laughs> this is... What do we do? What are we supposed to do about those? <laughs> oh, 
Whoa now, this is off the charts! How many of these things are there? They just keep coming! Ugh, what a pain! What's going on? This really is beginning to look bleak. Things are, these giants are bad enough. But we need to hurry and take that thing down. If we don't, we won't get another chance. Got it. We'll do whatever we can over here. Damn it! Hey. Aren't they bigger than before? Looks like there's something coming out of that one in the middle. This feels like a full-on monster war. I can't believe this is real. It's just like a scene from some movie. Hey, Brandon, it's looking, is it looking our way? Yeah, it seems like it's looking at us. I think... No, it's definitely looking this way. Its fate is tied to us, so it has returned to our land, which means... It will be pulled towards us by fate and attack! It's coming for us. Yo, if anything, it's coming after you! Heel to Yakushiparo and I shall split to the left and right to pull the attention of the other two exceptions. I'm gonna what? Am I really the best choice for this? You're quite fortunate that they are bound in chains. If we are successful to divert them, they should both be incapable of movement. But I'm slow. I don't think I'll make a very good diversion. In that case, Hanuman, I leave it up to you. Affirmative! Hold on tight, Ryota! Uh, wh what are you doing, Hanuman? So, <laughs> so, partner, this is getting pretty nuts, huh? Yeah, but we've got no other choice. That reminds me of that one time we... Hey, you two, who said you could run off all alone? Oh, hey, you two. <laughs> this looks like it could be a splendid eat and greet. How about you let me join in on the fight? My God, you... Indeed, indeed, if you really want to relive the old times. Indeed, you Then you'll need our help once more, correct? If you wish to expel the exception like you did back in Ikebukuro Coliseum, we'll provide cover. Use that to make a declaration of rank. <sighs> okay, let's do this. We have to go all out. Even if we don't know it, it'll work. Let's do this, partner! Let's show him again who's boss! Oh my god, that HP. Yeah, 
その身に世界を滅ぼす毒素司令ひどく精毒ひどがるぞアルムさあ荘園にいぶされた小野が無様を鏡に映せよ傷だらけの私たちこそこの世の何より美しい